smaller crochet pin on the lace parts what i'm doing is uh, the normal way to crochet but in this case i'm doing it in little pieces the birds have just begun we will always take a step and to make the whole work faster i'm just using a chalk to demarcate where i want the line or the part to be and also how i want the portions to look like and this will make the work or the outcome look very neat after demarcating it with a chalk we just go ahead to crochet around the lines or where i demarcated or where i made the lines not filling it completely we just um crochet around it this is what we call smart work okay now moving on once i'm done with the crochet we just go ahead to box braid the hair or the part where i already crochet so yeah box braiding it will just give you this result see how neat it's looking already without me doing the main install see how neat it's looking The many mansions, the girls in the Ruba doing belly dancing. Spend half of my advancing, jaws from brain through my circumstances. But you know, we'll be using expression series for this tutorial, and we'll be using only two packs because the length I'm going for is a short length. But if you want to like make it longer than this, you can use like three or four packs. So the good thing about wigs is that you can always pull it and want to always wear it some other time yeah you can use about three or four packs or even more if you want it longer than this and to install we'll be using or be doing the crochet method okay first push the crochet pin in out of the wig cap and then drag it drag one side out of the or drag one tip one side tip out of the wig cap make one side longer or one extension one side extension longer than the other then we start wrapping or taking the extension around the short extension to just combine the boots so first i'm doing the tight wrapping first and i just wrap about one inch and once i get about one inch of a tight wrap i'll just start wrapping loosely just to be able to get that effect that distress looks actually gives then we use my thumb my thumbnail to just wrap around my thumb just once and then slightly just pull my thumb away and then wrap just once and then put my thumb again and wrap once again and then slightly pull my thumbs a my thumb again and then wrap and again like that we just keep doing it like that one one wrap with my thumb the other wrap without my thumb one wrap with my thumb the other wrap without my thumb like that will continue like that till i get to the tip so this will bring the true nature of the natural locks look or the distressed locks look and when wrapping we'll do this loosely not tight because if you do not want the locks to just have um like this distress like the full distress locks look you can go ahead to do like the tight you know tight wrapping but i do want the distress locks to be very very pronounced so that's why i'm doing it loosely once i do the tight distress from the bottom we we'll just start doing the loose wrapping like that then once i get to the tip i'll just go ahead to bend the hem and then we'll just keep wrapping upwards until i finish wrapping the extension or the entire hair but if you do not want like the 
defined locks or defined distress locks kind of look i have a video on that so i'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you can go and check it out it's the same almost the same method but the distress locks is not that defined Okay, we'll just go ahead to repeat the same process grab the hair extension pass it through the wig cap like so make it one side longer than the other and, and then make sure that the short length hair is pretty much um, the same length of hair or locks length I do want to achieve why having the other side of the extension longer for wrapping so i'm going to be using the longer length to wrap but we we'll still have to add more extension or more hair as i wrap more extension or more hair to the long part of the extension so that i can be able to finish up the remaining or the smaller part of the extension that's why wrapping so we we'll do about three or about uh, four tight wraps of the locks and after the tight locks or wrapping tightly they will start wrapping loosely while using my thumbs like you guys can see i want the locks to look more defined or i want it to look more defined distress i like the distress nature we we'll just start using my thumb in every second so after wrapping with after wrapping without my thumb the next um, wrap was going to be with my thumb the next wrap without my thumb the next one with my thumb like that like that and then once i exhaust the first extension we just still add up more extension until i get to the end of the short length or to the length i do want to achieve Then we'll just go ahead to bend the excess extension and then start wrapping it upwards loosely until I exhaust at the entire extension. So we we'll just keep on wrapping and then it will just seal itself. You don't have to like use a glue or a candle to seal it. So it will just seal itself like that. Hello loves, welcome back again to the channel. How is everybody doing today? Today's video is a detailed tutorial on how to distress wig or distress locks wig i have been getting lots of requests on this topic so i just decided to film it for you guys this is very very detailed after watching do not forget to share the video to friends and family subscribe if you are new here if you haven't already give the video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment i want to know if uh this uh, if you are going to try this hairstyle or if you haven't already if you are going to try it okay i have another video on this particular topic but i installed the hair on a client and so uh, the link will be in the description box below just in case you are interested and the distress lock is not that defined like this particular one this week so i will still advise you to watch this first uh, before watching the other one we we'll also advise you to watch the video from beginning to the end so that you can understand the whole process. Um, I see a lot of people making lots of mistakes on this um, hairstyle. So this is so that you can understand it better and to tell you guys that you can use your series at home, expression series to actually achieve these distress locks. So the good thing about wigs is that you can always pull it and want to always wear it some other time so um spending uh, spending or buying a lot of packs for this in store or for this wig is not it it's worth it so yeah you can use about three or four packs or even more if you want it longer than this and again if you want the locks to look longer than this you can as well keep adding more hairs or keep attaching more extensions to the locks and then keep wrapping like that what i mean is that when i get to the end of a particular extension we just get another extension add it up and just keep 
wrappy like that one thumb wrap and then another thumb with another wrap without it my thumb another wrap with my thumb another wrap without my thumb like that we we'll just keep wrapping and adding a station until i get the length i want if i have my wheel i want it to be longer than this but it's just that i can only lay my hands on two series extension i can only achieve this length for the two pack making this hair took me about three hours which is also the fastest making or the fastest wig i've ever made it took me just three hours complete to both the closure and the distress locks at the back it took me only three hours it was so fast and then if you want to learn other method of making wigs um, without closure, you can just check the description box below. I have many, many different hairstyles, wigs. Do not sleep on this channel, guys. And then share the video so that all the videos so that we all can learn um, how to make hair with what we have here. And also subscribe if you haven't, if you haven't already right i'm just going to leave you guys to just keep watching the video and we also like to know if you are going to try this let me know in the comment section below if you are going to try this or if you're able to learn this hair in detail below just let me know in the comment section below if i check it time don't know how to feel but i'm not sorry For the front i'm just literally going to repeat the same method but in this case i'm not going to be crocheting uh, or crocheting it with a pin i'm only going to attach the hair to the box braid i already created initially and then continue to wrap the hair like so just the normal way and for the wig cap lace it's already looking like my scalp already like natural so it's looking natural already this is because i added the foundation the shade of my foundation um or i added it to the lace uh, so that it will look very natural so i did that off camera so that it will be very easy for me to just wear the hair once i'm done making the hair right now i'm wearing the wig cap and it's i'm wearing it without stress and you guys i decided to change my top because this was the same i wore in the previous video so if you haven't seen that previous video just go ahead to check the link in the description box below i just uploaded the video like on monday okay yeah basically that's the whole entire look of the week this is what it looks like i did not add any accessories you can go ahead to do that if you want to i can't find any right now and where i'm staying is Practically far from the market right now. So yeah, you can go ahead to add accessory if you want Please just go ahead to share the video to friends and family Give the video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think uh, Subscribe if you haven't I will talk to you guys in my next video. Stay blessed. Bye Turn out the light